We try not to spoil our kids, even at Christmas time. My, my next door neighbor has, they, they've, got a, they've got a 16 year old boy and last year they went out and bought him a brand new BMW for his very first car. Yeah, I punched him for y'all. You do not give a 16 year old child a $48,000 car. You do it like my daddy did. My daddy handed me a set of keys and goes, hey boy, you get it started, it's yours. It was a 1966 Ford Galaxy two-door hardtop my parents had bought two weeks before I was born. This was the ultimate family car because everybody in my family drove this car over a 22-year period. That's right. Mom and Daddy drove it for the first 11 years. We still refer to those as the good years. From that point on, it became the starter car for every kid in that house. My, my brother got it in 1977. The oldest brother got it in 77, put uh, uh, side pipes on it and air shocks. Yeah. You kids don't even know, but that was a chick mobile back then. My sister got that car, drove over three years, added nothing, including oil. Okay, if you didn't like that joke, you might want to check the oil when you go home. My other brother got him, but $8,000 worth of Radio Shack stereo equipment in it. That's right, his philosophy was a thumping bass drowns out a knocking engine any day. By the time I got this piece of junk car, I hated the car. Now, now we worry so much about kids in a car, don't we? Hey, don't put the kid up front. There's an airbag up there. Put the kid in the back. Well, don't, don't put him on the side. Put him in the middle. Boost him up. Bubble wrap him. We got to get that kid to school. <laughs> the state of Texas requires a booster seat up to the age of uh, uh, 10 if you don't get to a certain height and a certain weight. People, I was age 11 until I got a seat in this car, okay? <laughs> I had three uh, older siblings, right? And so the back seat was called for every uh, road trip we ever took. And nobody ever sat up front with mom and daddy because they smoked like chimney. But thank God they left the windows rolled up so it wouldn't blow out the ash. So I spent the first 10 years of my life riding in the back of a window, okay? Yeah, laid out. Still can't hear out of this year because that's where I had to hear Paul Harvey's The Rest of the Story. Every year, this side of my face gets sunburned, y'all, just that side. That's right, I was the first multicultural child in our school. 